All right, this is George Senda, the real, authentic, official, original, the one, the only, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy imposters. Okay, this is doing the scooter in downtown Martinez. There's the county jail. There's a wonderful rainbow there. There's a whole bunch of birds. It feels like it's going to rain. I hope not. <laughs> I don't have anything to cover the scooter if it starts raining. Here's a post office where I get about half my meal. I keep the post office box so I can pack them to secure from theft. So that stuff stolen from the doors of this is the American Legion. Here's the library. And this is, oh, here's a nice car. Looks like a cougar. Yes, it's a cougar. I drove and had one. Had the Attic Cougar in 1970. Okay, this is the courthouse. This is the tre treasury building, I think. No, it is a courthouse. There's the public library. There's a giant truck. This used to be the, a title company in the 40s and then a McDonald's. Now some kind of uh, Holistic restaurant. There's the, the school administration building. They are building a second county building here. They're, they tore down the old jail. This is the finance building, the treasurer's office. Down there is the arena. Uh, this was an art gallery. Realtor, trust company, the former Evil Wells Fargo Bank. This got this restaurant went bye bye. The bail bonds went bye bye. Uh, this is a real place. This used to be Citibank. The Evil Wells Fargo. Uh, another bail bonds place. This was a cigar store, and he went under. Over there was the Chinese restaurant chief, and the pizza guys bought it. Now it's a Mexican restaurant or something. Okay, we have a reflexology center. These guys were a clothing store, and now they reopened to something else. Um, this is a $35 haircut barber shop. Oh my God, oh, Sal's Family Kitchen. They scared me. The only place I can go to have breakfast around here. I want to have money. Uh, I don't know this is. This was white corn. They went under because of the pandemic. This is some kind of, um, this is a flower, a flower shop. Uh, our antique shop, another antique shop, Bank of America took out their ATM, leaving Bank of America customers having to go three miles to get money out. The pizza place that bought up the lease on the Chinese restaurant was cheap, barrel Easter, where I get a good coffee, a credit union, the whiskey lane, the bar, the subway. Credit Union, New York Union Bank, or, yeah, Union Bank. Real Estate, Skin Science, whatever that is. Lavender Moon, Greek Cuisine, at one time a floor shine shoe store. Aberdeen Cafe, the food was terrible, and we got sick from it twice, the previous owner, Turney. Uh, uh, can't remember the name of the place. Restaurants. This was at one time owned by the Aliota family at a fire. This is an old city hall, Starbucks, U.S. Bank, a knitting store, there's a fireplace store, a lighting store, a craft brewery. Okay. Um, U.S. Bank, insurance company. Pack mail, wear mail off my packages. This was the former Bank of America, was here since 1952. City Hall Annex, a print shop, flower shop. They opened up a brewery, the big bats in there. Uh, Skin care, rocks. I guess everybody's clothes on a Sunday night. <laughs> You're gonna starve. Okay, they, these guys are another uh, hair salon. 
this guy sells antique furniture. This guy is fairly new. Uh, I looked at the prices. I wouldn't, nothing, I wouldn't buy anything. I, these guys have great decorations all the time. News registered art gallery with very strange art. State Farm Insurance. This this whole section was an old department store at one time. This is a baby place, slow hand barbecue. La Tapatio, where I go to have Taco Tuesday. When I have money, and I don't forget. A, a small grocery store. Nothing really down here. There's Amtrak off in the distance. This is Main Street, by the way. And I love La Tapatio. There he is. Hola! And uh, eyeglass place. Used to be a knitting place, I think. Retro now. I don't know. This is new. Uh, Martinez Event Center. I've never seen an event there. <laughs> uh, the Magic Club, I think. Well, maybe the Magic Club went bye-bye. Oh, there it is. The California Magic Club. I haven't gone in there yet. Nirvana Yoga, an Italian restaurant. Haven't tried this out yet. This used to be a typewriter store, one of these two. Collector's Cult Records. There's the Magic Club. Pacifica Pizza. We've got pizza and lemongrass pizza. So I guess if you're hungry Sunday night, you're going to starve. Okay, now we're at Alhambra Avenue. And here comes the motorhome. Get out of the way here. Go, go, go! Wait! Okay, down here is a gym calfit. I'm gonna go up here now. This is a hotel, been there forever. This particular little building used to be, I don't remember what it was, but every business in here for a long time didn't make it. <laughs> Diablo Dog Walking Services. Everybody was open in here. Martinez News Gazette. Once the oldest paper, 150 years, they went under. They were owned by some German company. Or something. Uh, this is the um, Harley Davidson store. There's the local theater where they have plays. I don't think they show movies in there. I'm gonna go up to the market and turn on. This is where, when I get hungry, I go to the Valley Community and Mark, and Mark and also to buy my uh, lottery tickets. Whoa, too fast, Corey. Okay. And no pity on me. Okay, this is Valley Community Mark. This was the place, it's county city offices now, but at one time, and there was a bar there, and it's where the martini was been. This is a small shop. All right, now I'm going to go around the other way. Let me get off this driveway. The lever for the seat is digging into my butt. I'm going to right pride and say, will you please re-engineer that so it's about two inches further over to the right for big people? Okay, get out of the street here. Um, where are those new, whatever they are, they're not condos, townhouses, there was a beautiful Victorian house, there was wonderful kitties that caught fire, I don't know what happened to the kitties. Hello. Okay. I did not bring my backs back, so I, get, I now have a the phone charger, an Android phone, but not for time. This is a miniature golf course. Which I think is kind of neat, just for the sake of the idea of having a miniature golf place in a downtown is, is kind of cool. So, I like this. I've seen people actually go miniature golfing. Everything's shut down. I guess there's no bit. State's coffee. Make sure I don't get run over. Uh, there's a bicycle shop here and a gym here. This was the post office before they built one under FDR. This was the, I guess, the original post office. Now I'm gonna turn around again. Whoops! <laughs> that was too sharp of a turn. I'm getting good at this one finger. And we'll go down here. It's getting dark.
regard to how much bread I'm going to have. Uh, I've had States coffee. It's not bad. And then this is, they've been advertising this online. This is the new back of the Five Sons Brewing Brewery and Tap Room. And there's much people. Looks like they're shut down for the night. There's the theater, Campbell Theater. That was vacant for a while. And they run plays there. Improv. Comes a giant truck. And then we have the creek over there. The creek, lots of kitties around this creek. Sadly, stray kitties. All right, let me get up the ramp here. So many dogs. And there's a walkway that way behind the creek. That used to be a competing newspaper office that failed. Sadly, I wish they stayed alive. Okay, here's the creek. Hombra oh, Creek. This thing will flood downtown Martinez when we get a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. And this building, I believe, was the original city hall. They had a fire back in the island. Oh, this is way overgrown with trees. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head down to Amtrak and then I'll end this because I'm gonna probably run out of power at some point. Uh, there's Starbucks. My arm is starting to hurt too. Murals. It's cool out here, there's a nice breeze. There's Starbucks where I go get coffee at times. This street gets very busy during the week, which is why I'm not filming this. Oh, they put, I didn't notice that these are new. They didn't have these before. Can I get through here? That's the question. They put chairs and tables out there, and Martinez, unlike some places, they don't walk off the stuff, although some places chain down their chairs and tables. This is Luigi's Market. <clears throat> I've eaten this room place twice. The previous owner, the current owner, it is pretty late. I did not like it. Alright. Here is the county um, registrar of voters and the place where you find out who owns what property. The little cute dog. The former Creek Monkey Tap House that changed its name. I can't remember what its name now is. It said it's open. The television on. They got football. But I don't have any money to go in there. I go in there and have Hello. hamburger. Hello. I hear the car going to run over me in a minute. All right. Now we're going to see if we can make it down to the marina and then I'll head home. Okay. Hello. Here is the park next to Amtrak. Nice houses around here. During the week, the cars zoom down here, so do the buses. There's the, 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 uh, the uh, um, uh, beavers used to live here, but they've gone elsewhere. Martinez Amtrak. The clock never works. It stopped working during the pandemic. They've never fixed it. There's lots of kitties there. Look, a raccoon. Hello, raccoon. Hello, raccoon. I'm not going to hurt you. Hello, raccoon. Mr. Raccoon. I'm not mean to raccoons. Okay, here. Go eat. Go eat. Yes. Go eat. Go eat. Okay. Gave him some cat food. Whether or not he's too frightened to eat it, I don't know. Look, my cane. Wink. Okay. This is where I go get the bus. This is why I was so happy to get the scooter, why I'm so mad that this thing will not fit on the bus. If anybody in County Connection or anywhere else had told me, I would've got the three-wheel scooter. This is Amtrak. 
points north and south, goes all the way to LA, goes to Sacramento and Chicago, going the other direction. I got it wrong in a video, people gave me a rash, like crap about it. The, I've never been, uh, there's a walkway, there's an elevator, I've never been up there. There's the clock tower. Okay, we're gonna go over here, you can see the, I don't know, that's an old baggage car. The old Amtrak, the old train station down the street before the pandemic, they used it for functions. Uh, they built this so people could cross the road, cross the track and not get run over. There's always train due to late arrival. <laughs> There's always that sign on Amtrak, whenever I would take the train to Santa Clara or Sacramento, the train was always late. So, and this is where you guys always say, where's the train? Where's the train whistle? Where's the noise? It's coming from here. The freight trains go through here like crazy. Let's hope I don't drive this thing over the, into the, it'd be horrible if I drove over into the tracks. Okay, a train will be arriving at 8.20. I have no idea unless I reach in the bag for the other phone when that will be. When they, there are warehouses here. This is the back of the Amtrak. I don't believe they're open. Oh, there's somebody in there. They are open. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, 8.13, about seven minutes. No. Yeah, 8.13, August 13th. So, I'll come back in an Amtrak modern baggage cart or something, uh, parking. That was some kind of visitor center. I don't know if it is or not. And that doesn't go across the way. It goes to the other side of the tracks. This guy's waiting for the train. And this is the, you can see it. I'm trying to remember where it is here. Oh, there, no, it's over there. There it is. I haven't been down there a long time because it requires walking. Okay. You can see it's getting dark. The hot dog place. And uh, this is the marina, an old steam, seven foot steam engine. Here is the, oh, they've changed it. I don't know what that is. I guess somebody bought it and changed it. Here's another, good Lord, that truck is big. Big truck. There's a print shop there and a graphics place and a place that sells posters. And here is the, ooh. Oh, little cutie. Cutie dog. This is the old, huh? It's a walk, but it's there. <laughs> Here's the old ant, old train station, but they boarded up, so I guess no function there. Supposedly it's haunted. Maybe because of the homeless and vandalism, but I'll show you this. put a fence here. There didn't used to be a fence here. The gate, that wasn't there before. Now I'm gonna turn this around somehow. Not driving into the tracks. So they thwarted me from going through there. Okay. Oh, I never saw this side of the arch before because I don't think I'm down here at night. Okay, we'll go to the marina as far as I can. We, Kathy and I, we had a car, we'd take the Prius, we would feed the ducks, geese, loons, seagulls, pigeons, and swans, uh, crack corn, which they love when the birds, hillside. Oh, there's Thai food. Yeah, the hot dog place is gone. I don't know what they're turning it into. 
this is not going to be easy. I don't know if this thing will go across the tracks or not. I hope so. Take it real slow. Ooh. I don't think you'll do this with a three wheel scooter. Okay, I hate people playing their music because I don't want to copyright strike. Okay, I just felt a drop of the water on me. This is the Brad K. Martinez Regional Shoreline. And hold on. there are baseball fields over there. The local minor league team uh, playing here or whatever they are. I'm not certain what the name is. This goes away. Joe DiMaggio's boat was here. I just felt water. I think it's going to rain. If it's going to rain, I'm going to run like hell to get home. All right. Anyway, you can see the long... Uh, how old's your baby? How old? Yeah. Oh, he's not mine. I think he's, oh. he's pretty old. Maybe 12? Yeah, mine, my cats will be 24 this year on Halloween. Ah. See you later. I think it's going to rain. Feels like it. Oh, I hope so. I hope not. I don't, this isn't designed for rain. I gotta get back home. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting rain, but it feels like it. Um, yeah, it's gonna rain. I gotta get out of here. Okay, over there is the is Benicia and Vallejo and the bridge. And I'm gonna turn, this is the marina. And it is definitely raining. I gotta go. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Let me, sorry. This is this the owner's manual said do not drive this in rain. So I'm yeah, I didn't think it was that. gonna rain. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, let's head home. So this has been my guided tour of Martinez. I'll come out here again. I, I saw no indication in any weather report, weather channel, weather kitty, or anything that it was gonna rain today. And there's a curb. I don't want to go over that. I'm about six blocks from the house, so film this. There's Martinez. So we've driven up there. There's peacocks up there and quail and deer and all kinds, all kinds of uh, wild animals up there. Uh, yeah, it never got out. It never got out. This is a heavy duty scooter. All right, I don't know what these guys are going to be. I think not. They come opening in August. So I'm going to take, check that out. Yeah, I hope it's not just a market. This is Thai food. Thai food, I've never had the Thai food. There's a sign place. Uh, the graphics artist. This is Sunshine Garden. I get my Chinese food here. Here's the ears, lots of jazz. Here is Kent's Corner. I like that neon strip. Here's the hair salon. Here is another antique shirt. Kathy buys a uh, little kitty here. They're only open a couple days a month. And oh, they tore down the buildings. The former restaurant was over there. It's gone. Uh, that that sow. They used to be there in a dog. Okay, here's Marina Market. Where again, where I go get food. This was a bar. There's a Martinez History Center. Um, this closed up. This was a former bank. This is the public, or was the public defender or annex. Uh, this was a bookstore. This is a Union Look. There's Whiskey Lane. This was a liquor store that closed. This is the new um, credit union. And uh, there's the, by the way, that I ate one slice of pizza there. They had so much oil on it. It looked like I was in the North Sea. This is Barrel East. Pretty good coffee. And uh, I know, but I have to get home before it starts raining. Okay. Bar, it's always good. There's my attorney friend at uh, Eastview Barbershop. Another bar, Neil Spa. Uh, 
tax place. Very nice fellow. Another attorney place. This is a with a clothing store. This is some kind of organic hand lotion place. Uh, and it's definitely getting more sprinkly. So I have to. Okay, this is for the uh, development of the disabled copper skillet courtyard, uh, the public spender's office. This I want the sign. <laughs> back end of the former, I've never seen a sheriff pull anybody over in downtown Madrid. This is the Beaver Mural, the soup kitchen, the new uh, townhomes. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, this guy also does chindy windows. This is the back of Kathy, lived in this building at one point. This thing is still a lot of power, but I'm also running out of light. Wonderful Siamese Kitty lives here. And Ted's Kitty, Ted's friend lived here, but he, the kitty died. He's a wonderful little kitty cat. I love Ted. And would come up to my door and want, play with my kitties. This woman has kitties in the corner. Here's the air conditioning thing. It's been there about two months. The community center for the building is there. Lots of plants. And um, that was former John F. K. University and before that a mortuary. I asked the guy who owns it, do you see any evidence of haunting? He said no. And we'll go one more place here. Uh, we'll go around the block. I should be able to make it back before the deluge, if there is a deluge. This is where I walk to the bus. There's the little apartment building. There's a dog in there. They leave interesting things in the recycling bin. People leave couches and things, and it's definitely sprinkling. Okay, this is the Catholic elementary school, the Catholic church. These guys are very nice people. They put out interesting decorations. Little cute little kitty there. I've shown you a video of that. And the lady has a nice dog there. 150 years this church has been here, St. Catherine of Siena. That's where they the one who used to give away food on Saturday. I think they still do. These guys had their Halloween decorations in the door for a very long time. Here's the Savannah Park. One of the houses along here, and the little kitty I used to feed is, may still be there. Real form of crippled leg. I'm gonna go up here real fast. Supposedly they give out food tomorrow at the garage. They moved it from the church office. This guy had a wonderful car here. It's like a 48 Packard or something. I did a quick shot of it a long time ago. They have events here in the courtyard. This is, ooh, I, I'm always wondering about this hill way, on, this house way on top of the hill. This is City Hall and the police station. I didn't see the stop sign, but then I'm more worried about getting getting this thing wet and shorts out of it. There's the police station. It's only three blocks from my house. There's City Hall. There's City Hall Plaza. The fountain goes off and it's on. Sometimes it's off. There's that house and I look. I can look out of that my balcony. And uh, this is Alhambra Boulevard, which is always full of traffic. And the next street is Berryessa, where the bus goes going that way. The bus taking me home goes that way. And I don't know if I want to get on this sidewalk or not. We'll, we'll see. Some of these sidewalks are very, very, and this is where I start choking because every time I get off the bus, I'm fine to get to downtown Martinez, then it starts with my grass out. It's where everybody walks their dog in the street. <laughs> Lots of doggies here. Hello, baby. 
And this is the Boys and Girls Club. Okay, here's the fountain, not on now. And this is where I usually sit down and collapse when I come home safely. All right, this is where I saw deer years ago with my iPad, but it was dark. There was an actual deer out here. And I was amazed. Uh, they decorate here for Halloween. And let's go down here. Where's the ramp? And the challenge will be getting it up in the elevator and getting it past the jungle. I can take it down the balcony. Okay, now more sprinkling. That is one heck of a transformer or something. Okay. But the house here, they have a deck on top of the ground. There's a daycare center up here. This, I love this house. Oh, the first time I've ever seen a grape soap. My God. This is the park. And up there is the elementary school uh, administration building. Lady, I don't know if she still lives there. The lady was there. Very nice. These guys always have, I like this. I'd like a house with a porch one day, an old style house. You can sit on the porch and it's hot. Here's the park. I like old houses, not this ticky tack stuff they build now. All with a certain, with a ticky tack sameness. Okay. This is the house with the cute little, two kitties that live there. The people and the owner said, don't feed them the, the crunchies attacked or cracked the raccoons. But the little cat, it was so cute. I don't know if it's still alive. I haven't seen it in ages. I don't go down this street much anymore because it, it, it wants, it wants uh, frisky streets. This place has had, had a kitty. I think they still do. Kitties will hide behind the stairs here. Here is the rest of the park and the playground for the church school and here's a car. For years this church of us on Saturday stayed away food and now we're back to home and another dog being walked. But I, I stand out in the balcony and just watch all the people walking down the street and dog uh, Sunday night must be a school night for dog. Here is the, what the hell is that? I have no idea. Somebody's scooter, I think he's washing it or something. Why would you, I don't know if you can wash a scooter. Okay, there's my apartment. And you can see why I'm always saying it's so hot. They cut down all the trees. You can see the stumps. They cut the bushes down. There was a tree there. They cut that down. There's my balcony. There's the steps I climb when I'm I don't want to take the elevator. I don't do steps well. There's the walkway. And there was a tree on the other side of the stairwell, which they also cut down because it was putting out yellow pollen and people were complaining about the pollen. And when they did that, it raised the temperature of my apartment 10 degrees. There's the skyline. And now can I turn this this way? I don't know. Ooh. I hope people watch this because <laughs> it's been a long video, 33 minutes and 46 seconds. Okay, here's the mailbox where I get my mail, the maintenance room for the maintenance guy. Uh, any kitties out here? No kitties. And this lady likes my kitties. She said it's so cute, they follow me everywhere and they do. Here's the laundry room. This used to be a mailbox, so they broke into my mailbox years ago, and that's why they had to get the other mailboxes here in the elevator. Always fun. The elevator keeps trying to eat the scooter because the door shut right away. Okay. Uh. All right, you've seen the 50 cent tour of Martinez. I'm in the elevator, going upstairs, it's very hot in this elevator. Finger doing them, holding on to this phone for so long. Okay. Alright, now we have getting out of the other crunch going past the 
jungle. There are all these plants here. These don't cause an issue with getting the scooters on. Now, if it weren't for the fact that Martin, I'm going to film a, a video uh, maybe Wednesday going up the Chaco Boulevard and, and see if I can make it all the way up to the former, that had about 15 names, the former Shell station that's on the edge of the former Shell refinery. See if I can make this up the hill. All right. Luckily, we'll come over and talk to my neighbor here, and here is the more jungle. <laughs> More succulents. Plants everywhere. I think I'm in the movie Silent Running sometimes. Okay. And the problem is, of course, can I get it by the railing and can I get it by these plants? Because the turning radius is such that with these plants, in a way, I can't turn the scooter. And uh, I also have great difficulty turning this thing around at the end of my end of my balcony. So I always get the railing here. I took the I took the uh, armrest off because I didn't want to get the armrest. So okay, with that I'm going to leave you. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Oh, pretty sky. Have a great night. Stay wet, stay dry, stay safe. And remember, you can join the channel for $3.99 or $6.99 a month where you see content nowhere else. Stay cool, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye for now. Let this run out to its one minute. No kitties. Lots of points. Bye-bye.